Well, hey there, my friend, and welcome. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to correctly pronounce the letters of the English alphabet. So important, right? Because we're spelling things all the time, especially when we're sharing personal information like our name or our address, which a lot of times we have to do over the phone, which makes it even more tricky, right? Or if you're having a conversation and there's a word that's causing some confusion, you might try to spell that word. But if you're mispronouncing the letters, ah, it turns into a big mess, right? So let's practice pronouncing these letters together. So I made a lesson a few years ago on pronouncing the letters of the alphabet, but I wanted to update this lesson to include using the color vowel chart because this makes pronouncing the names of the letters so much easier. And you're about to see why. So here's the thing about the names of the letters. The names of the letters are little words in and of themselves. And at the core of each of these words is a vowel sound. So you want to make sure you're pronouncing the correct vowel sound and you want to make sure that you're giving that vowel sound some stretch. We're going to hold that vowel sound a little longer than you may be used to because what you might be doing is pronouncing that vowel a little short, making it sound a little choppy and making it hard to distinguish, which can, which can make the name of the letter difficult to understand. Then we want to identify any consonant sounds that surround that vowel and make sure we're pronouncing those correctly. So let's dive in with our first letter, our letter A, A, gray day A. The name of this letter is just the gray day A vowel all by itself. A. Now this vowel is a moving vowel or the fancy word for it is a diphthong. It means there's two parts to this vowel. We start here a and move into the e is in green vowel and notice how my mouth moves as i say this sound a a we want to make sure we're getting both parts of that vowel as we say the name of this letter a b b green t B. The name of this letter, we start with the B, B, B consonant with the lips coming together and then releasing into the green T E vowel. B, C, C. Again, green T C. This, the name of this letter is a green word. We start with the S, S, S consonant sound and release into the green T vowel. C, just like the verb C. D, D. Again, green T D. We start with the D, D, D consonant. The tip of the tongue is up behind the top front teeth. Uh, gently tapping the alveolar ridge. And then we then release into the green T E vowel. D, D, E, E. The name of this letter is just the green T E vowel sound. Green T E. Make sure you're stretching that vowel a bit. Use this open hand cue with me. This is going to help you know how long to hold the vowel as you're pronouncing the name of the letter. E, E, F, F, red pepper, F. We begin with the red pepper E vowel sound and move into the F, F, F consonant with our teeth resting gently on the bottom lip and air flowing between the teeth and lip. F, F, G, G. We're back to green tea, G. Here we begin with the J, J, soft G consonant. This one is tricky for many, J, J, J. And if you have trouble with this sound, I have a whole nother lesson to help you with that one. And you can click on it here. G, G, green tea, G. H. H, gray day H. The name of this letter starts with the gray day vowel sound, A, H, then ends with the ch, ch sound as in cheese or chocolate, the CH sound, ch, ch, H, 
H. You want to make sure you're not adding any extra consonants in front of the name of this letter. Um, a common uh, addition is the y, y, like a Y sound, yh, yh, or adding an actual H consonant, h. No, the name of this letter starts just with that gray day vowel, h, and right into that ch, ch, ch sound, h, h, i, i white tie I, just like I, or the pronoun I, as in me. This is a moving vowel sound, I, I. So you wanna make sure that you get that full mouth movement to fully pronounce the I letter name. J, J, gray day, J. Again, here we have that soft G sound, J, J, but instead of the E, we're going into the A, J, J, gray day, J. So do you hear the difference between J, G, J, G? Interesting, right? K, K, gray day, K. Here we begin with the K consonant with the back of the tongue coming up towards the roof of the mouth, k, k, then releasing into that gray day vowel. K, K, L, L, red pepper, L. Here we begin with that eh, eh, red pepper, eh vowel and ending in the o, 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 L consonant, L, L. Red pepper L. M. M. Red pepper M. Again, starting with that red pepper M vowel and moving into the M mm -mm consonant as our lips come together and air travels into the nose. M. M. N. N. Red pepper M. N. Again, it's that red pepper eh vowel, then moving into the n, n consonant with the tip of the tongue pressed against the alveolar ridge or the bony bump right behind the top front teeth, and air travels then into the nose for this nasal sound. N, N, O, O, rose boat, O. This is another moving vowel sound, and you'll notice that the lips round out and relax back for this sound. O, O. This is one that a lot of times is pronounced really short and choppy, so we don't want O, O. We want O, O. Rose boat, O. P, P. Green tea, P. Here we have the P. P consonant releasing back to our green T E vowel. P, P. Now the P consonant is a aspirated or what I call an air puff consonant. And you wanna make sure that you have that little puff of air. P, P. I can feel it on my hand as I pronounce P, P. Otherwise, it'll sound more like B, B as in boy. Green T B, green T P. Do you hear the difference there? Q. Q. Blue moon Q. We have our blue moon vowel at the core of this sound. And then K. K. Do you hear that? That's kind of tricky. We have our K, K, K sound and then a Y. Y. The Y consonant. K. K. Q. Q. It sounds like you, you, like you and me, you and me, right? Q, Q, blue moon, Q. R, R, olive sock, R. Now the name of this letter is actually the olive sock vowel moving into the er sound. This is one of our vowel plus er combinations. R. R. Notice how my mouth begins in a more open position for the ah ah olive sock vowel and moves into the er. R. R. Olive sock R. Also sounds like this word A R E. R. S. S. 
red pepper s we start with our red pepper vowel sound and move into the s, s, s consonant s s t t green t t here we have our t t t consonant moving into that green t vowel t now t t the t consonant is another one of our air puff consonants T, very subtle puff of air, but without it, it may sound more like D, D, green T, D, green T, T, D, T. Do you hear the difference there? U, U, blue moon, U. The name of this letter sounds just like the pronoun you, Y-O-U, you. Again, you and me, you and me, right? You, you. V, V, green T, V. We begin with the V consonant with our teeth resting gently on the inside of the bottom lip. V, this sound is voiced. V, V, green T, V, W. W. Now the name of this letter is like two different words. We start with the word double, double, as in like triple, double, single, cup of mustard, double, bull, bull, bull. That second syllable is very quick, stressing our first syllable, double, double. Then the word you again, you, as in you and me, you and me, W. W, a cup of mustard, W. X, X, red pepper, X. This is definitely a tricky one. We start with our red pepper vowel. Uh, then we have a cluster, X, X, the K, K, K and S consonant together. X, X. This is frequently how the letter X itself is pronounced, that X, X. It's a cluster, two sounds together. If you have trouble pronouncing that letter X, I have another lesson for you that you'll definitely wanna check out and you can get there by clicking here. X, X, Y, Y, white tie, Y. We have our I as in white vowel <laughs> and the consonant in this word is actually the W, 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 there's no Y in this word. It's w, w, w into the I as in white. Y, Y, just like the question word W-H-Y, Y. And last but not least, Z, Z, green T, Z. Starting with our Z consonant, the Z consonant sound made the exact same way as our S. S, except it's voiced Z, Z, green T, Z. So let's try all these letters again from the top. All right, here we go. A, A, gray day, A, B, B, green T, B, C, C, Green T C D D Green T D E E Green T E F F Red Pepper F G G Green T G H H Gray Day H I I White Tie I J, J, gray day J, K, K, gray day K, L, L, red pepper L, M, M, red pepper M, N, N, red pepper N, O, O, rose boat O, P, P, Green T P Q Q Blue Moon Q R R Olive Sock R S 
S, red pepper S, T, T, green tea T, U, U, blue moon U, V, V, green tea V, W, W, a cup of mustard W, X, X, red pepper X, Y, Y, white tie Y, Z, Z, green tea Z. Yes, fantastic practice, my friend. And to keep you going with practice, I have created a downloadable PDF that includes all of our letter names and their corresponding color vowels to help you keep practicing the pronunciation of these letters. So definitely don't forget to grab that freebie and let me know in the comments below which of these letters is most challenging for you. And are there certain words that are particularly difficult to spell? Let me know in the comments. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.